As thousands of Trump supporters violently stormed the Capitol building, which resulted in one woman getting shot and dying, Donald Trump didn't really say much. He was pretty hush hush until he decided to put out a few tweets that honestly, I would almost prefer that he doesn't release a statement at all because he never yep. says anything that's productive. He only encourages more violence and it's absolutely horrendous considering you know some of the video footage that we've seen. But I wanna go to his video first and then I'll go to some of the tweets he put out prior to this video statement. I know your pain, I know you're hurt. We had an election that was stolen from us. It was a landslide election. And everyone knows it, especially the other side. But you have to go home now. We have to have peace. We have to have law and order. We have to respect our great people in law and order. We don't want anybody hurt. It's a very tough period of time. There's never been a time like this where such a thing happened, where they could take it away from all of us, from me, from you, from our country. This was a fraudulent election. But we can't play into the hands of these people. We have to have peace. So go home. We love you. You're very special. You've seen what happens. You see the way others are treated that are so bad and so evil. I know how you feel. But go home and go home in peace. Uh, Donald Trump should be arrested. And I'm not kidding. I'm not. I'm not just exaggerating. He should be arrested immediately. 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 That's why we showed you that video, um, because it's evidence for uh, what he is encouraging. This is sedition. He should be arrested immediately. No questions asked. No questions asked. He encouraged this, John. He encouraged this before it happened. Right before it happened. He gave a speech today, earlier in the day. Um, and I think it's important to focus on this snippet because this is what he encouraged. He wanted this. This is not a mistake. Yeah. He should be arrested. Let's go to the next video real quick. We fight. We fight like hell. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore. We're going to try and give our Republicans the weak ones because the strong ones don't need any of our help. We're going to try and give them the kind of pride boldness that they need to take back our country. So let's walk down Pennsylvania Avenue. I want to thank you all. God bless you and God bless America. Thank you all for being here. This is incredible. Thank you very much. He literally said it, John, take it away. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so he wants to put pressure on the weak Republicans. I'm. This is the only one I've seen, but Kathy McMorris Rogers says that she's no longer going to object to the electoral college results, oh, is she not merciful? Oh, oh, she was only gonna do it before, oh, now she's not going to. Oh, okay. Look, it's better, okay. but. She needs to be tossed um, anyway. out of Congress, gone, gone, 100%. gone, gone. She um, played a role yeah. in this for political reasons, disgusting. Go ahead, sorry. Exactly, everything that Trump said there, uh, I think is an incitement to violence. He constantly talks about fighting like hell. His lead uh, insane lawyer said that we need trial by combat, and then they go and they get someone killed and they they break things and they burn things. Um, but if it if it wasn't for the stuff after, I almost might think, well, that's just Trump being as generally awful as he always is. But that video that we we showed of him outside of the White House is what among the more individually dangerous things that we've ever seen the president say on tape. Um, they a woman had had already yep. been shot. They had already broken into the halls of Congress. They stood where the speaker speaker stands. They get to her office. They're breaking things. They're assaulting cops. They've brought bombs and he says, I love you, you're very special. Like if if the towers came down and George W. Bush said, now everyone out there, everyone calm down. To the people who were in the planes before they crashed in there, I love you, you're all very special, you terrorists. I like Representative Ilhan Omar and Cory Bush are pushing for him to be removed from office immediately. I don't know that it's possible. Uh, it should 100% happen. It, it, none of the none of the the mechanisms of government work, though. We have the 25th Amendment for this. What could possibly happen in the future that would be a better call for it to be employed than this? And and you know, related to this, the DC is supposedly secure now because the National Guard um, finally did go in. That does not mean that Trump is taking it more seriously because further reporting showed it wasn't Trump that ordered it. Pence ordered it. 
For all we know, yeah. Trump was still fine with not not moving in there. Like he can't. We we are just still hoping, even at this point, most people that well, it's only 14 more days. What could possibly happen? Well, maybe maybe more women will get shot. Maybe more people will die. Maybe more buildings will be destroyed if we don't get rid of him. Get him out of there. He ain't doing the job anyway. Seriously, and there are potentially lives on the line, more lives on the line than he's already claimed. Yeah, I'm I'm really worried about what will happen tonight. So so far, authorities have said that they managed to take control of the situation. As I mentioned earlier, they didn't have enough manpower ahead of time. They didn't plan ahead of time, but. Who knows what is likely to break out later tonight Anna, prior I, to today. Yeah, go ahead. Can I ask you a question? So let's sure. say that you were one of these crazy proud boys or the militias or whatever that have been planning to do this. So you go in during the day and you're shocked to find out, Oh wait, like I've heard that the US government's like super tough or whatever. But no, we actually, we just got into the buildings and nothing happened. Um, we were fine, uh, barely any resistance against us. They arrested 13 people I read. So if you go to do this, you're probably gonna be fine. They're not gonna shoot you really. And you've got almost no chance whatsoever of getting arrested. So Anna, going into tonight, would you be more or less likely to do something insane than you were earlier today? I mean, obviously more likely. <laughs> I like mean, they have provided what? incentives for further escalation on the side of the terrorists. Yeah. Um, they know what they're doing, right? I, I'm I'm so tired of the well, I, what I think people perceive as uh, you know um, plausible deniability. No, there is no plausible deniability. They know what they're doing. Donald Trump knows what he's egging on. He knows what he's encouraging. Uh, he was enabled by Republican lawmakers, literally hundreds of them, who knew that. Joe Biden was the president elect, that he won the election fair and square, that there is no evidence of widespread voter fraud. But they decided to write their names on these efforts to overturn the election results, to challenge the electoral college votes. Privately, you know, privately they'll admit what the reality of the situation is. But publicly, no, no, they're gonna go along with this narrative. Knowing that it undermines our democracy because it earns them political brownie points with Trump's base. That's what Senator Josh Hawley did. They know that they can fundraise off of it, which is what multiple GOP lawmakers did. Of course, that's something that Donald Trump has been doing. He's been fundraising off of this effort for his alleged court battles, which by the way, he's he's lost. 60 of them because they have no evidence of widespread voter fraud. They don't care. They don't care that there's no evidence. They don't care what the reality of the situation is. I think that most Republicans are fully aware that Biden was legitimately elected in the general election. They just don't like our system of government. They don't like the results and they wanna go ahead and you know undo what happened on election day, what the reality is. Again, Joe Biden won, sorry. And it's because Trump has been a failure, acknowledge that. How many of these Trump supporters have family members who died from coronavirus? How many? Oh, it's Anna, you live in a fact and reality based world. But they, this is a worldview, this is a movement staffed with all of these media avatars that are designed to lure people in with the siren song of you never have to hold an inconvenient fact in your head, literally ever. Uh, not about politicians, certainly, no matter how many times they lose. No, it was actually stolen from them, they didn't lose anything. They're saying the exact same things about the Senate races yesterday. Uh, coronavirus, man, it really does seem like a failure of government. No, it's fake, it's totally made up. It was made up by whoever, George Soros, Bill Gates, whatever, it doesn't actually exist. They never have to suffer cognitive dissonance. Everything is exactly the way they want, Even even events like this, who right wingers around the country have been hoping something like this would happen. They go very smoothly from weeks of God, I hope something happens. God, I hope it happens to it was the other side. The left did it, it was Antifa. Like they never have to hold a single inconvenient thought. And they just, that's how they go through their world. Like there are bubbles, everybody's in bubbles, we're in bubbles. But theirs is made out of vibranium, nothing gets through. Everything is exactly the way it needs to be for their incredibly shallow, Worldview, their 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 ego is just so raw; it couldn't take anything, and they've they figured out a way to sustain that. 
I know, um, I would love for them to uh, send me the election night meltdown videos from 2016. I would love, yeah, we, I'd love we to We melted see down, it. Anna, you know why? We melted down because when uh, a Republican because we were worried won, about we this briefly kind of didn't stuff. like it. <laughs> yeah, we didn't like that Trump won, so we melted down. Spending months losing your mind, believing everyone who opposes you is a satanic pedophile, and then literally storming the halls of Congress. That's not a meltdown. That's just being a patriot, I guess. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.